Hi there folks, welcome back. It's uh, race day four of the uh, International 18 Foot Skiffs and uh, you can probably tell we're not down at the uh, St Francis Yacht Club here. In fact, we're out at uh, Oakland Airport and um, Keith over there hiding behind this little helicopter. It's a Robinson R44. It's got an engine, it's got a couple of fan or a couple of blades on the top, but that's what's going to be our uh, platform today. Simon and I are going up in this. We're going to follow the racing, so it's uh, going to be quite an adventure. Uh, just to give you the heads up on the racing, uh, two races today again, and this is the feature day. This is the bridge to bridge, and that's why we've uh, been lucky to get invited up in this thing. So we're going to we're in for a hell of a ride and a hell of a race. Back on the racetrack, uh, a lot of wind today. Yesterday was light. It was blowing 25 solid when we left the club down there about an hour ago. And uh, by the time the boats get on the track this afternoon, it's going to be all at 25 plus. So they're really in for a big day. And boy, you'll be able to hang on to your seats. Well, we'll be hanging on to our seats because we'll be sitting in this little sucker. But um, it's going to be great. Now, on the, as far as the uh, point score, we've still got appliances online. Had a good race yesterday afternoon. How he won that race, as you remember, he got his first bullet. So the points uh, positions and the points read like this. We've got appliances online. He's first. He's on eight. Thurlow Fisher bombed out a bit yesterday afternoon, but he's <coughs> been able to have his discard. Excuse me. He's got. He's on ten. So you got eight, ten, and on thirteen, Johnny Winnie, very, um, very consistent. Woody and I saw him in the park down there before, and he wasn't smiling because he knows he's in for a rough afternoon. At the, as they all do, they're all sort of a little bit concerned. But anyway. That's what they're here for, they come here for the rides. So that's Yandu third, CST Competence. Howie is uh, one point adrift of um, Woody after that win yesterday, so they're locked together at the hip again. Uh, today we'll no doubt shake those two up a bit. And Mersk line, first of the Kiwi boats. And C CT Batten, sixth, Hill uh, Hilly Brand, that's um, Phil Airy's boat. Seven, Panasonic. Uh, John o. Witty, he's going to be in for a rough day out there today, but he's, uh, his guys just shaking their heads in the park. He's on eight. So that's the top eight. Um, we're going to get this thing up in the air shortly. We'll just take this off. And Keith, you can see, he's just turning... Uh, <coughs> Keith's just turning a few of the screws and uh, pumping up the tyres. So um, stand by, we'll be getting airborne pretty shortly. We're at it. Oakland Airport and this is Kaiser Air, some nice little uh, biz jets all around us where all the biz jets sort of uh, get looked after. So that's about it from the Scareport. We'll be getting going shortly. Okay, so we're probably only about a minute away from this uh, start of race seven. And boy, is it howling out here. See Herman clearly, uh, Howie Hamlin, the CST Composites. Johnny Winnings going for that uh, pin end start again. CS, uh, CT Batten's up here on the uh, boat end. But uh, I've got a feeling we're about to get them away. So we've got two, four, six, seven boats on the start line. Uh, some on the beach and probably some in the harbour somewhere here. So there you go, there, the race is underway. Gun's gone. CT Batten's good start. Johnny winning, pin end glamour up there. He's uh, brained them yet again. That's start of the day at the moment, providing cross uh, CT Batten's. So you've got uh, the Pirates and Howie Hamlin to weather it then, coming out into the tide, which would be the right way to go to get that lift up to that top turn mark under the Golden Gate Bridge. Michael, Michael Coxon's guys sailing along pretty nicely there. They're in the middle of that pack. And uh, so it's right now it's probably uh, Johnny winning leading, CT Bats and uh, Appliances Online and Howie Hamlin, Cocco bringing up the uh, rear of that pack. So we'll just cut from this. Uh, I know the pictures are great up here, but we'll probably just save a bit of card because Simon's getting pretty excited with that trigger on that thing. So we'll just shadow them up and uh, turn the camera on a second or three. So we've got all the boats pretty much in a line from uh, Appliances Online, the Pirates. CST, Howie Hamlin, Cocco, Thurlow and then Woody and then right over on the Chrissy Fool side is uh, CT Batten's. 
uh, pretty good idea of who's got the bat speed here and how the handling's going. They're pretty much at the uh, end of their range here. These guys, they ride out on the racks, you can see. Big Pete down there uh, getting his back into it, but they wouldn't want it to be too much fresher. So right now, I think Michael Cox has probably got a, an inch of speed on Howie, and Howie seems to be uh, hanging on to Herman okay. John Winnie further across, nice speed also. It's all to do on this approach to this top mark, and right now, I think John Winnie is winning. So here comes the first cross. Uh, Pyrus just got across in front of Harry Hamlin. He's continuing on behind Thurlow, and he comes to cross with Johnny Winning. And I think John Winning uh, has got his son. Herman's got right away. Not much in this. Herman would have right, so Woody's going to have to do something here. Tack. <laughs> Not such a flash tack, but good enough under the circumstances. So. Right now, Michael Coxon is the leader on this racetrack. Just uh, from uh, Appliances Online, Howie Hamlin and John Winning in the Yandu. Just looking forward, uh, they're not going to lay this mark, so they're all going to tack, take a hitch up to get around this, this mark in front of us. Uh, we've got a couple more tacks, not easy things to do in these conditions. Plenty of chop down there. Cut from this and uh, the exciting thing will be how they handle the bear away around this top mark. Now there's our leader, Michael Coxon, heading for that turn mark, that red conical uh, buoy there. And uh, Howie Hamlin, nice job, nice lay of that uh, pin too. So he's going to come right in the, in the second there. Uh, CT Batten's got the better of uh, Herman. Now watch, watch Michael Coxon. This is where it gets real tricky. You've got to throw the jib off. You've got to find a way to pull away on. Now he's away. He's got the bow down. So that's a great job. He's away. How he's away. Nice job, those guys. CT Bat setting up for it. Bow going down a bit. Ooh, he's, he's through. Watch the Pirates here. Up right underneath us. Yeah, big Pete's in. Now it's the hoist of the chutes. Got to get him up quickly and uh, get balanced and get out on the rack. So great racing here between all these boats. Cocker, Howie's guys, Howie's sitting in and clinging onto that uh, helm of that boat and really lighting it up. Pirates bad set on their boat. They've got a, uh, no, nah, it's just come out. Big skulls out. Woody's around. He's struggling with his a bit. Now these are the sort of rides you're going to get. This is going to be something else to follow these guys down here. Herman just going over the top of the CT Bats. Not a very nice feeling when you're, uh, although Herman's still struggling. Control that shoot. Now there they go, straight down to that gate mark for the first time. Hopefully they're only doing two laps of this course because uh, three laps prior to a uh, bridge to bridge would be just a bit too taxing on these guys. Though. Okay, so we're just sitting over the top of John Winnie and uh, Woody's taken the safe option there. He's sitting inside the uh, rack. He's got Noddy and uh, Davey Gibbo right at the back of that rack, keeping the bow up. It's a very safe way to travel. So just get some nice soak. You can sail. Okay, so approaching the gate for the first time, Michael Coxon still doing the business. Howie Hamlin in hot pursuit, probably uh, got about a 50 metre lead there now. And uh, Herman Winnings out a lot wider. He's going to take a, he's going to have to, no, no, he's going to make it through on that angle. I thought he might have to try to come back. Uh, so there's your race leader, right under you. Cocker, Howie, and uh, the Pirates out wide. Hauling it down here towards the Alcatraz turn mark now. And uh, that was uh, a bit of a sort of a slow old drive for Cocker. I don't know if they were in two miles, but they didn't rush into it. So, as an end result of that, is they're in the harbour. So, scratch the leader, he's down, and uh, it's going to take him quite a while to get that up. They're standing on the bottom of it. Spinning is still up the top of the mast. So, Howie is our new leader. Go, Howie. So uh, it's getting tough out here. We just lost another man. 
Uh, the pirate ship bit the dust there. Uh, didn't quite see that, just saw the end result of it, but uh, like Cocker, they're upside down. So this is uh, the Devil's Triangle here. We've just lost CT Battens. Uh, he's gone down, so this, as we were saying before, is very trying conditions out here. And I can't see how anywhere, so he's obviously... Oh, there he is, he's upside down. So this has got an ominous look about it uh, for mine. That wind down there could have picked up another five knots. The tides uh, just started to run out real seriously. We've got three knots of current against the wind, so... Very tight. Oh, there goes another one. Uh, down you go, boys. Billy Brand, uh, that's Phil Airy's boat. And the only boat still afloat is the Panasonic guys. That probably the boat you would have thought uh, was going to go down. <laughs> Lightweights. And there they go, trying to keep that bow up. Now, can these guys pull this off? Let's hope so. But there's a lot of work to be done. They're only just heading down to the bottom mark for the first time. And it's a long beat back. So go Panasonic. Last man standing stuff this. Tommy Anderson there throwing the sheet at it. As soon as it looks like loading up, just chucks it away. But that, uh, that doesn't help you a lot in the long run because as soon as you start to slow down a bit, everything gets out of balance. So you, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't. You've basically got to decide, I suppose. Just there you go, they pulled it off. So that's a little bit easier to sail with at least. You can probably keep that afloat like that. Not easy conditions out here by a long shot, as you can see. This is uh, a tough day in the office for these blokes. So we're not sure what uh, the status of this race is right now, but Panasonic is probably the only boat afloat out here that we can see. And they're really toughing it out. I haven't seen them turn a mark down here, so my feeling is they might uh, think that discretion is the better part of valour and uh, be heading back to Christian Field. Um, but it's just really tough going. You see they're unbalanced there. It's trouble here. No, no steerage. <laughs> just at the... Oh, man. Get in there, boys. He's got washed off the butt. Back in now, there's Tommy back on the rail, so... Very trying conditions. Coco's back up and back down. So we're on uh, Coco and the boys. They've got the fellow Fisher up, tidied up that chute, but... Uh, they got their bow up, heading for Chrissy Field, I feel. I, I think this race is going to be abandoned. And if they're going to abandon this one, I can't see any 18s being too thrilled about going out and uh, doing the bridge to bridge this afternoon. But I think you'll get a whole lot of crazy kite uh, surfers and, uh, and sailboards do it. They've got less, uh, less gear and less weight, and they're going to have a hell of a time. But I've just got a feeling right now, this, these conditions... They will uh, keep these guys ashore this afternoon, but sure as hell, they're having trouble handling it right now. So underneath us is Yandu, John Winnie, Noddy and Gibbo. Now they're sailing down this uh, clubhouse shoreline without a spinning. Oh, that's a smart move, and we believe, well, we've only just had a chat, and uh, it may well be that... They're going to keep going in this race. We've located the turn mark. It's way in close to the shore. Not sure if that's by accident or uh, or what, but it's certainly got it out of the, the current and the, the big seas out there. So Woody is just sneaking down this shore, and he's going to go around that mark, I feel, and try and get back upwind. Big job ahead of him. Uh, we'll sit here and just watch this. As soon as he turns around that can, he's going to be slamming right in the face. And Coco is uh, doing the same thing. So Woody at this point, if this is a race, is leading for Michael Coxon. And Woody almost went into the uh, the dock area there. You see there's very flat water and not as much wind in close to the shore, but uh, as soon as you get around this red can, he's going to bite it. Got to go all the way back up to that gate off the St Francis Yacht Club. 
as you know, and then uh, all the way back up the Golden Gate Turnmark. Go the Woody. Right, so the thing is here, just got to slowly crank the gear on again. You get the feel of this. Get your weight out on that uh, rack and move your body weight around it to get the trim right. Panasonic here, uh, the boys have sort of uh, led the race there but when everybody else was down but they're now in trouble and uh, that rudder doesn't look like it's in great shape to me so they're going to need some assistance there's a rib standing by so uh, their afternoon is certainly over hard enough with a rudder So that's Howie Hamlin safely ashore, back to uh, Chrissy Field Beach here. Quite happy to be back, I'm sure. A lot of kiteboarders uh, on the beach getting ready for this afternoon. I'm pretty sure the kiteboarders will give it a lash this afternoon because they're, they're crazy. And the, the boards will probably give it a go as well because they can snug those little boards down. They put very small sails on them and they just lean into it and they can't really do any damage. They can, all they can do is take off and end up in another state somewhere. So we're uh, due back to uh, Oakland to get some more fuel in the uh, good ship Robinson 44. So this is a scene, carnage aplenty at the uh, race seven, at the uh, 18 footer international pirate ship ashore, all pirates uh, safe. And the only thing we, we don't know is whether Woody is going to tough this out and just batter his way around this course to get a, uh, get take the gun uh, to get the points. But we're not even sure if that's going to happen because we thought we heard two two guns or not. We didn't hear them in this thing, but they might have already abandoned the race. There's that much confusion out here. So we'll, we'll cut from this. A uh, bit of a shame, really. We're all set to have a great day and just too much wind. The, the fog's starting to roll in, which even... Uh, seems to up, up the pressure as well. So after a brilliant day yesterday with, with not a lot of wind, we've got uh, too much wind today and it's not going to get any better, I don't think, this afternoon. So we'll cut from this. We're going to head off back to the airport. We'll take some vision back there so you know we got back safely. See you back there.